Right, 6.2. 6.2 for question 6. Cash budget. 6.2. We are required to calculate the amounts indicated by Roman figure 1 to Roman figure 3 in the extract from the cash budget. 9 marks. Right, there is an extract on page 21 of your question paper. And this is the extract from the cash budget for September and October. You have the receipts there and also the payments. And if you look at Roman figure one, what we are required to calculate there is cash sales for September. Cash sales for September. Cash sales for September. cash sales for September. We are required to calculate cash sales for September. And what is it that we are having for September? The only thing that we are having in our information, we have the credit sales. We know that the credit sales for September amounts to 403,200. We do have the credit sales for September, which is 403,200. And from this amount which is given here for credit sales, we need to come up with the amount for cash sales. Remember, we said total sales is 100%. And if the transaction is telling us that the cash sales is 60%, it therefore suggests to us that therefore the credit sales will be 40%. So that 403,200 given there for credit sales is 40%. And we want to calculate cash sales, which is 60%. So you multiply by the percentage of what you want. We want cash sales and you divide by the percentage of the amount given. And the amount given is credit sales, which is 40%. So it's going to be 403,000 multiplied by the percentage of what we want. We want cash sales, which is 60%, divided by the percentage of the amount given. The amount given is credit sales, and the percentage for credit sales is 40%. So 403,000 multiplied by 403,000 200 multiplied by 60 divided by 40 multiplied by 60 divided by 40 that's 604,800 so our cash sales is 604,800 403,200 multiplied by 60 divided by 40 equals to 604,800. That is 6.2 Roman figure 1. We wanted to calculate cash sales. And then 6.2 Roman figure 2. What is it that is required here from the extract? Extract from the cash budget, Roman figure 2, we want to calculate rent income for October. Rent income for October. How much? Remember, we are doing budget here. How much are we expecting to collect for rent in October? Rent income for October. Rent income for October. We are doing a cash budget here rent income for October. The amount that we are having here is the amount that we are expecting to collect in September for rent. The amount that we are expected to collect in September is 25,600 for rent. 25,600 for September, but we want to calculate October. And there is a star there next to the rent income um, account the star if you go down there it says note rent income will increase by nine percent in October 2018 so it means this 25,600 will increase by nine percent in October the 25,600 is for September and we are told it will increase right now the 25600 is 100 percent and if it is going to increase by nine percent so that's multiplied by 109 
because the amount if you look at the amount the standalone amount it is 100 percent if you want to increase it by nine percent then you need to multiply it by 109 you must just add nine to hundred so this is multiplied by 109 percent and then we will get the final answer here rent is going to increase by nine percent hundred percent is for the twenty five thousand six hundred and then we are increasing it by nine percent then it's going to be 109 over 100 25,600 multiplied by 109 over 100 that is 27,904 27,904 27,904. 25,600 multiplied by 109 over 100 equals to 27,904. So rent income for October is going to be 25,000, is going to be 27,904. September it was 25,600 and it's going to increase by 9%. So we are expecting to collect 27,000. 904 right roman figure 3 which is the last one under 6.2 what is it that we want to calculate in roman figure 3 we want to calculate payments to creditors for october payments to creditors Payments to creditors for October. Payments to creditors for October. Let's look at the payments to creditors. Right. Let's go back to the transaction so that we get information, clear information. Information C on page 20 with regards to the payments to creditors. It says stock sold is replaced in the month of sales. 50% of purchases are on credit. Creditors are paid in the month following the month of purchase. Creditors are paid in the month following the month of purchase. So it means the payments to creditors for October will be for the goods that were purchased on credit in September because of this transaction. Creditors are paid in the month following the month of purchase. So we just have to look at the credit purchases for September because we want to find out how much are we going to pay to the creditors in October. So the credit purchases for September, we are told here that stock sold is replaced in the month of sales. 50% of purchases are on credit. So let's go to our September sales. September sales. Our total sales for September budgeted for September is one million and eight thousand our total sales budgeted for September is one million and eight thousand and if this stock is sold in September it must also be replaced in September because of the transaction transaction C which says stock sold is replaced in the month of sale so this one million and eight thousand must total sales for September must also be replaced in September. But what is different with the business is that this 1,008,000 includes profit. When we are buying this stock, we do not pay 1,008,000 because there is also a markup percentage included in this 1,008,000. And we are told that this business markup percentage is 75% on cost according to information A. So let us then calculate the cost price for this total sales of 1,008,000. The cost price will be multiplied by 100 over 175. Let's start by calculating the cost price. If we want to replace this stock that is going to be sold for 1,008,000 including 75% markup, let's check how much is the cost price. 1,008,000 
1 million and 8,000 multiplied by 100 divided by 175. That's 576,000. That's 576,000. We need to pay 576,000 to replace the stock. Because 1 million and 8,000 includes our profit. But if we have to replace all the stock sold, then we will have to pay 506, the cost price of the stock. Because 1 million 8,000 is told is the selling price, but the cost price is, 560, is 576,000. And we are told here that 50% of purchases are on credit. So when we are replacing this stock, when we are going to buy for 576,000, 50% will be for cash and 50% will be on credit. So let's calculate the 50% which will be on credit. So 576,000 multiplied by 50%. 576,000 multiplied by 50% equals to 288,000. So the 50% is going to be 288,000. 576,000 multiplied by 50% equals to 288,000. So our credit purchases for September will be 288,000. Stock that is going to be sold in September is 1 million and 8,000. That's the total sales. Converting the total sales into cost price because when we buy, we buy at cost. That's going to be 576,000. And this whole 576,000 is split into two. 50% is purchased for cash and 50% is bought on credit. So we are interested in the 50% that we are going to buy on credit in September. So in September, our total credit purchases will be 288,000. So this 288,000 will then be paid in the month following the month of purchase. So the month following the month of purchase is October. So our payments to creditors for October then is going to be 288,000. So we have reached the final answer. So this is 6.2 wherein we were required to fill in the missing amounts in the cash budget. The first one was the cash sales for September. We have used a figure which is 403,000 which is credit sales and we know that credit sales is 40% and cash sales is 60% so we wanted to calculate the cash sales that's multiplied by 60 over 40 to get 604,800. Our rent income for September is 25,600 and it was we are told that it's going to increase by 9% in October. So that's going to be 109 over 100 equals to 27,904. Payments to creditors, we are going to buy for 288,000 in September, which will be paid in October according to information C. Creditors are paid in the month following the month of purchase.